Here is the fourth consecutive session with Orso making headways, being totally engaged in letting me show him certain behaviors. Predominantly in this session, we are working on coming to the heel position. Healing is a position and not a movement. So I'm teaching how to come into the heel position. And once we got that, we will put that position into motion. So the way we do that here is I'm making him follow my hand, which he has learned before to follow my hand. But now I'm making him follow my hand in a certain gymnastic way with a turn behind me and coming out on my left hand side in the position. Perfect demonstration here. You see that he wants to move forward and that's not part of the position. So I just hit the button on the electric collar as he moved forward. You see a little bit of an effect here that he is not trusting the position 100% now, but I have put some negatives to the forward motion because I want him to see that if he stays in the position, he is getting fed, which he still trusts the feeding. And it's just a matter of a couple more repetitions to where he is getting confident. Aha, uh -huh. it's if I stay in that position, that's my advantage and I get paid. Just don't move across the line. When I say the line, that's what he's looking up to is the relevance or the relation to what he sees where he's at to what he sees when he looks up. It's a reference. So that's where a lot of people make a mistake and they teach healing as to be a movement. So it's, it's way too difficult for a dog or even for us if I have you on my left hand side and I'm just moving across the room uh, like continuously to find out where to be and where not to be. Unfortunately, that's still a traditional, common way by some trainers to teach healing this way. And on the way of doing so, they definitely destroy the enthusiasm and they don't get exact learning of what healing really means. Here I introduce the a little bit of negative reinforcement for sitting. He has been in a positive way shown how to sit. And now when I ask him to sit, I pull on the leash at the same time, just ever so slightly and combine it with the treat. So he gets carefully introduced to get rid of the discomfort that is very low level here as I pull when he sits there. That's all I'm doing. There's nothing drastic, nothing overriding the, the drive for the food at all. It's a proper introduction how to deal with a little problem on the dog's side. Yeah, 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 yeah. 